Uh, one of the smallest galleries in the country, the smallest, featuring my work. Uh, it'll be good to go someplace where uh, you're always welcome and always famous. In spite of his complaining, driving through the rain he'll go, heading off to yet another weekend show. Though it seems an uphill battle, many minds both left and right, Savannah to Seattle, that's the life of Mr. Kite. Driving up to the barn, we call it the barn slash bathroom gallery here in Memphis, Tennessee. One of the most uh, uh, devoted galleries to my work. And it always gives me a thrill, a shiver up and down my spine when I uh, pull into the barn gallery because I know it's here that I'm adulated and uh, respected and honored and if I have to take a leak that's convenient too. Okay, I got a new camera. This is going to be my first solo director uh, job here at the uh, Memphis Gallery. Uh, Dave's in. Hello folks. I would like to welcome you to the American Chariot Horse and Carriage Art Gallery, one of a kind, right here in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, wait a minute. Um, that sounds like an infomercial. Be natural, like the first time. Hey, folks. Welcome to American Chariot Horse and Carriage Art Gallery. Had a long, hard day, but this is one place where. All right, don't editorialize. <laughs> This is, yeah, he, he's really amenable to direction. <laughs> Howdy. I am the director of this art gallery. I just had a lot of hard news today. The city threw us off the street again with the carriages. Hey, cut, cut. Gallery, uh, gallery owner, take two. Yeah, tuck your shirt. Make me believe you. All right, take seven. Welcome to my gallery. Now this is where people come for a moment of solace. When you see Barry's stuff, maybe just walking up to it. A lot of people might sit down. This is a place they come to sit down. After that first reaction, I think everybody feels inspiration when they see these pictures that Barry has generously donated to my gallery as the years have rolled on. But wherever he would be coming from in his big white van traveling all over America year after year after year, someplace he would be, New York, Milwaukee, Sarasota, Florida, Austin, Texas, it would rain. And at one of those beautiful shows he was at, something would get a little wet. And Barry, being the artist that he is, didn't want to pawn off anything inferior. And so he made a donation here, and we would lovingly take each one of these paintings out, dry them outside in the sunshine, if no horse stepped on them, repackage them, and carefully place them up here. And do you come to the gallery here often? Every morning I wake up, and a couple more times every day. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a favorite piece in here? Ah, uh, that'd probably be tough. I enjoy them all. And I think that one's pretty humorous. Not a tough practice for a Jewish synchronized swim team. You like that one? Uh, I enjoy nude one? with Tupperware. I think that kind of the uh, centerpiece there. You like that one? That one looks kind of set off from the others, huh? Mm -hmm. you, you like this artist? Totally. Yeah, yeah. Would you say he's one of your favorite artists? I'd say when I discovered his work, yes, he became one of them. <laughs> yeah? Did it change your life in any way? I'll probably change it in a few oh, ways, yeah. I like the little gallery. There's something else. He looked pretty good from what I can see. Yeah? I like the pictures and all this stuff. He got uh, pictures in the pictures and the pictures there. What's that, collages? Yeah. These two right here would probably be the most I see out of all day long because I mean, you sit down on the toilet, and there they are. There's my favorite, the dad's drinking problem. That's it. Who are you? Josh. Josh, yeah. Do you come to the gallery often? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least once a day to stay regular. Yeah, can you spend a lot of time in the gallery then, you guys? I'd say about an average of, of five to ten minutes a day. Yeah. Oh, I'd really? I spend a little bit more time than he does. Yeah, because you're more of an art connoisseur, is that what you'd say? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
And this is something everybody needs that comes to this room. Everybody who has that one moment alone, not even without some priest on the other side of a curtain. No, this is a alone room where you come for relief and to feel coming out a little cleaner. Thank <laughs> you.